It's you, it's me, it's the Manal Cross Body Bag Review. And you can't call it the Cross Body Bag, it's Cross Body Bag. This is not a body bag. <laughs> but is it a sling? Is it a fanny? Is it too minimalist? And does it rationalize the very high 120 US dollar price tag? You got questions, I got answers, let's get into it. Now, I just wanna give you a quick gist, an overview about what this crossbody bag is all about. In essence, they call it a crossbody bag because it could be worn across your body, otherwise known as a sling. You can wear it in the front, you can wear it in the back, and if you're feeling super adventurous, it can also be worn as a fanny. It's two liters, which I think is a perfect sweet spot for sling. That's why we typically call slings in this size pocket relievers. And one final thing to note is it's a pretty minimalist sling. It's kind of like a throw all. There are a few pockets, but we'll go into more detail into the ah, that, that, that. Ah! Not a lot of pockets. It's kind of just a throw all. And real fast, you might be wondering, but Aaron, is it comfortable? I give it a score of like a 7.5 out of 10. And that's just compared to other slings. It's not that perfect flush fit that many people desire from their sling, myself included. But having said that, it's definitely not uncomfortable. Double negative, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's talk about the outside of the Manal crossbody bag. The exterior material is not specified on the website, but it's like a coarse nylon. We've seen this with other Manal products. Very durable, very water resistant. And in typical Manal fashion, no logo to be seen, right? The only little logo is this little foxy guy right there. So if that's your cup of tea, you'll love this guy. Let's talk about these zips. Really nice branding right there. You got Manal's logo. They're also YKK zips and YKK zips are the best in the game. But on the downside, this is not PU coated, so it's not weather resistant. So if it rains, your gear in the main compartment could possibly get wet. And at this price point, I would have liked to have seen a PU coating, but Manal never does PU coating, and I wonder why, Manal. Other thing I'm not crazy about with these zips is just how short they are. Like, you want a, a chode zip, like this is as chody as it gets, right? Okay. It just kind of compromises the accessibility. On the back end, we got some more branding by Manal. This serves no functional purpose. A little bit of padding too for comfort. Let's talk about the strap. Starting from the bottom, we got this guy right here. This helps to give the sling some movement, right? There's a little bit of extra padding as well for increased comfort. We have a nylon band, pretty basic, not much to say there. But what's not basic is this hardware. We have metal or aluminum hardware. I'm a big fan of metal slash aluminum hardware. It gives the bag a little bit more of a premium feel yeah aluminium hardware it just has a nice feel to it almost as nice as it feels hitting the like button give it a try it feels great same thing on the flip side but you got the cool Manal logo right there really pops but let's talk about this guy magnet Ooh. Ah! Magnets and slings go together like tacos and tequila they are so compatible and the reason is it's just the functionality wearing this thing slapping it into place so easy so satisfying while also being extremely secure. And who's this made by? Oh, it's Woojin. So Woojin makes really great hardware, which means it will last the test of time. Holy crap, we forgot about this. There's a hidden pocket. See this guy right there? Nice little crafty move by Manal. What do I got in there? I got my doubloons, is that what pirates call it? My coinage. And here's the deal with this pocket. It's pretty small. It runs to about here. So typically I like hidden pockets because they can hide things that are on the valuable side, like a wallet or a phone. This pocket will not fit either of those things. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> good point, Deb. It's for your spliff, lighter, some coins. What do you think? Do you think this pocket should have been a little bit bigger? I feel like it stops here, but it goes here. Let me know if you agree with me in the comments below. Next up, inside of the Manal crossbody bag. We got a pretty big sling. Now, it's two liters, and it packs out like two liters, but it just feels like you can pack more stuff in this than maybe compared to other two liter slings. Let's see what I got in here. Easily fit my phone, portable battery, sunglasses, AirPods, raspberry CBD gummies. And you might be asking yourself, Aaron, can it fit an 18 ounce Hydro Flask water bottle as well? Yeah, damn right it can. But on the back panel, there is still a bit of organization. One, two, three mesh pockets and a zipper pocket right above. Let's talk about the mesh pockets first. Not much to discuss, they're just mesh pockets. They're not super stretchy. In fact, they are not stretchy at all. The top has a bit of elasticity, which is nice. Larger pocket, we have a key ring holder. Pretty basic key ring holder, but it gets the job done. One thing to note is that the key ring holder is on a very short leash. And that's because it's not really designed to like stay on leash while you unlock your door. It's just designed to keep your keys in one consolidated location. And as for taking the keys out to unlock your door, works. 
And finally, the back compartment, we got a YKK zip. I would stick to flatter items in there. It's a little tight sometimes, but also given the black color of the material, it's just, just dark in there. I would have liked maybe a lighter color to create a highlight effect. Would have been nice. Pros and cons. Pro number one is going to be the minimalist design. Pro number two, the very subtle anonymous branding. And pro number three, really great hardware, whether it's the Wujin magnet clip, the aluminum buckles, or the YKK zips, this crossbody bag has got it going on. But I got a few cons. Con number one, I do wish these zips were just a little bit taller, bigger, longer. Just give me a little something else to grab. That's what she said. And con number two is that the main compartment is quite dark. If you are vibing right now with a Manal crossbody bag, and you're like, yeah, I'm totally gonna get it. That's the crossbody bag of my dreams. Then we do ask that you use the first link in the description, just right down there. That link makes sure that you get the best price, and it also helps to support our YouTube channel. But I also wanna give you some alternative recommendations in case this is not the crossbody bag of your dreams and you want a different sling. If you're looking for something more stylish and colorful, check out the Bellroy sling. It's also super minimalist, but it's just got a bunch of color options. It has just a different vibe, aesthetic, and feel to it. Alternative number two is the Air City Sling 2. This is a sling for you if you're looking for more pockets and organization. It's got a similar vibe in terms of like that black, urban, anonymous look, but it's just got more pockets. And alternative sling number three is going to be the modern day fairer active sling. It's an interesting sling because there's no zipper to get into the main compartment. It's a magnetic closure, which makes it super easy and functional to use. And it's also quite styling. If you're interested in any of those alternative recommendations, you can find links to the reviews that we shot down in the description below. If you liked our Manal crossbody bag review, the best way to just show us a little bit of love is to hit the like button. It's a small gesture, but it really goes a long way. We appreciate it. Also, let us know in the comments below. Do you own this sling? What do you think about it? Do you wish that it was just a little bit more flush on the bod? Or do you like it when it's not quite as flush? Do you also agree that the main compartment is a little too dark? Let us know your comments below. We'd love to hear it. It helps to keep this channel and the internet as a whole just a more educated place. Thank you so much. I'm Aaron from Nomads Nation. We'll see you next time.